Okay, good. So we're up to Simon Samach Vov Haloch Vov Sivov. Says the Mechaber in Pasach Mipnei Hayira. If a person stopped because of Yira Ehakovet, right? Because there was someone who came in and he had to stop his Krishma, but he stopped right at the end. So he might say he had finished the Shema. He finished, and then he had to interrupt to say hello to someone. Or he finished before the Chazan finished. Uh, and he, he did it properly. And he sort of waited uh, for the Chazan to say it with him. He doesn't need to say MS again. Says Mishabura, what's going on? Pirush. The ilu lo shoho, because if he didn't wait, if he hadn't yet said it, then it's quite a strict halacha. Meshaskin le kishachayzivo im emes. We silence him when he says emes again. Kamoi be v'shema shema moedim moedim. You don't have to say shema shema twice or moedim moedim. Avo b'shoho, but if he waited after the meshaskin le, we don't silence him. Mikol mokum einet zorich lachzor, but he doesn't need to go back. Because why say it a second time? And so too, whenever he stops, for whatever reason, in the brachas of Krishna, he doesn't need to go back. Uh, he just goes to the place where he left off from. Okay, um, fine. Sif Zayin. Um, so we know that at the very end of Birchas Krishma, the last, you know, Baruch Atu Hashem Gaal Yisrael, or Gaal Yisrael, we'll see, um, he, he mustn't be mafsik and he shouldn't say Omein, he shouldn't have a hefsik. That's the Mechaba. Says the Ramah, V'yesh Oimrim, De'oinin Omein. That you do say Omein after the Baruch of Gaal Yisrael, V'chein Nagin Lano Yisach HaShliach Tzibur, and that is our minute to say it after the Shliach Tzibur, Avol Im Hispalel Levad, but if he's davening b'yechidus, ain ein in amen. You don't say amen to your own bracha. Because it'll come in. Because it'll come on simon reish tesvav. Okay, let's take a look at the mishnah. Ein no im amen. Says the mishnah in sif kotan lamad beis. Bein achar atzmai or bein achar shliach tzibur. So according to the mechaba, you don't say amen whether it's your own bracha or the shliach tzibur's bracha. Achar gal yisrael. Now it's loshen ovar. He just the mishnah points out that it's not goyel yisrael, but it's goal yisrael. Mishum de Hukoi al Gulas Mitzrayim, because it's referring back to the Gulas Mitzrayim, which is in the past, and therefore it's God, like Kadesh Baruch who redeemed Kal Yisrael. Avod betfilash men Esra, but in the Bracha in Shmon Esra, we change the present tense. Omer, go al Yisrael. Why? Mishum de Rach Mininu um Mispalel al Haosid, because it's we're davening on the future. Now, interesting, what would, you, what would happen if you get it wrong? In the Suri Yisrael, Baruch Atah Hashem, instead of saying go al Yisrael, you said Goyal Israel, or in Shmon Esra, instead of saying Goyal Israel, you said Goyal Israel. So take a look at note 27. If at the end, just before Shmon Esra, you said by mistake Goyal Israel, but you have your Yotza, and therefore uh, you should have said Goyal, but if you say Goyal, it's okay. But in Shmon Esra, if you said Goyal instead of Goyal, Kosovar Gonum Chaim Kanievsky, she talk in it could be that you haven't been Yetzir. Very much like Kosovar, the Vialoch, and Kaman, etc., etc. So it's important to get it right, yeah, to, to get the Nusuch uh, correct. Okay, over Marovis. Now, interesting, I don't, think, I don't know if, we, if you do it here in, in the Dayans, but in, in the Adas, and Nusuch Ashkenaz Shuls, they have on Yontif nights Marovis, the, the Piyutim that you say, um, you know, in, in the. In the, in the, in the in 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 Yontif in, in Ulshul, every Yontif, every Yontif they do. I say over my Rovis, She Nagin Loma Borch Ato Hashem Melech Tsu Yisrael Vagaloi, that there are two Nuschois. In the, I think in the Alskor it brings, uh, you got two versions. But the Minag is, if you say Marovis, you say Borch Ato Hashem Melech Tsu Yisrael Vagaloi. So that's very interesting because this is the Brocha, the end of Birchus Krishma, and you're not saying Goal Yisrael. You're saying Goyalo, which is the Loshan of Goyal, of present tense. 
So nitcha hataz ma'oid letar. So the taz is uh, struggles to answer to explain it. Of a dogel mervavavavavav yishev kushas and the dogel mervavavav explains the he answers the question. Mekam akam mepnei kushazu. But either way, because of the question and the the, the concern of the taz, nagu anshe ma'isa le megamba ma'arov is kol Israel. And therefore, the, if you've got the alternative, says the Mishnah Bura, Anshe Maisa prefer to say Gal Yisrael even on Yontif night, uh, even though there is that Nusuch of Tzu Yisrael for Goy Aloi. Okay. The Yesha, now, the Ramal says that we are knowing to say Amen after Gal Yisrael. Hai Yesha Imrim Svirle. What does the Yesha Imrim hold? Even if you, on your own bracha, you say it, because this is the end of all Birchus Krishma. We said brachas before Shema, we said Shema, and then we said the brachas afterwards. And it's not considered a hefsik between Gula and Tfila. The minig is like the Yesh Omrim. It's not considered a hefsik between Gula and Tfila. And therefore, the minig is to say after the shliach tzibur amen. You say to say amen that bracha. If you're davening be yechidus, you don't say amen to and bracha. I think the ma'isa, the minig is that the the goes quiet to avoid any you know baruch atu Hashem to go go and he just sort of fades off and doesn't say anything and therefore no one's heard the bracha. The dying said it. What do you mean? He's, as a, as a shliach tzibur, and people said amen to the bracha. Well, that's uh, yeah. But from here it seems what? Yeah, for that yeah. But um, but the Ramah the Rama seems to say that you do say amen. Okay, Lana is this is in Sifkot and Lamatei. He says v'chein nagin lasus achas shliach tzibur. Um, says the Mishnah Burus, but davka im lo hischel adayin haposuk shel Hashem s'fasai tiftach. But if you've already started the Yoshman Esra. By saying Hashem Sfasai Tiftach, the Mishon Ve'elech have a tfila. Because once you've said Hashem Sfasai Tiftach, you've already begun your Shemin Esra, and that you should not interrupt to say Omein to the Broch of the Chazan or whoever to say uh, God Israel. Yesh Medaktakim, Sheroitzim not says to Kulama. There are those who want to be Yotz at everything. Umam Tinin, but to Israel. They wait. They wait. Sorry, I've jumped the line. Sorry, they wait. Um, Tina Batsu Yisrael, or Bashir Chadosha. Yeah, they don't, they just stop, you know, a little premature, a few lines early. Kadeilanus Omein Achashlech Tzibur. Vekasu Kalachrenim Shelo Yafahim Oisin. Imagine you stop before Su Yisrael. In order that you can answer Omein to the Gal Yisrael Bracha. That's not a good idea. Shahru Be Emtsa Perik Shlemes Vyatsev. You're in the middle of a Birchus Krishma. Until you say Gal Yisrael, you are in the middle of Birchus Krishma. The Ein Lan is Shum Omein, the Bar Mishte Ameinim Hanal Basif Gimel Bahago which was the Amen of Hakela Kodesh or Shemer Tefillah. But apart from those two, you shouldn't be answering any other Amen. And therefore, it's not a good idea to, to, to pause by Tzu Yisrael so that you can answer the Brach of God Yisrael. In any event, you've got another problem that you should be davening Shemun Esra with the Tzibur. And with the Tzibur means to start literally with the Tzibur and not to start, you know, to, to be clever and to wait by Tzu Yisrael so that you can answer Amen. But you should start with the Tzibur. And the Eitzah Acheres Yesh, there is another Eitzah, for Noch and Lasosa Kadeilot as the Kulama, that you can, you should do it to be Eitzah. Sheikhav and Lasayim Ima Shliach Tzibur B'Shibur. Now this is also a good Eitzah, that you, you, you just do it with the Shliach Tzibur, that when you say your Tzu Yisrael, and you say Baruch Atu Hashem God Yisrael, you just do it in tandem, in line with the Shliach Tzibur. V'al Zeyne Mechuyiv L'Anis Amen. Then you're not Mechuyiv. Or, alternatively, you start your Shemun Esra just a little bit before the Shliach Tzibur. You say that Pasuk as the, as the Chazan is finishing off. For that tiny difference between you starting a bit early and, and uh, the Shliach Tzibur starting a second later, because you're, um, you're, you're, you're jumping the gun is not, is not considered a, a significant heck and therefore that's the best answer. If it turns out that you finished your Baruch HaTashem God Israel before the Shlech Tzibur, sorry, you haven't yet started Shemun Esra, so in short, what have we said? When it comes to the brachas of Gal Yisrael, Gal Yisrael, first of all, get it right. Make sure it's Gal Yisrael before Shemun Esra and during Shemun Esra it's Gal Yisrael. And number two, uh, the Machaba says that 
the, 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 the Ramah says the Minig is two, and the Eitzah that the Mishnah Bura suggests is either just do it with the Shliach Tzibur so that you don't have to say Amen, or even do it a second before him, and you say Hashem is Fosai Tiftach, when the Chazan is just finishing off saying God Israel, and in both of those situations you will not have to say Amen to his bracha. Okay, we'll leave it there because Ches is a bit longer. What's that? Minig Nosef Huva B'chassan Sofa Ah, right, that's what he said. That the minig is that the chazan says it quietly. That's what he's saying, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting. Oh, the guy who's saying it's a minig yoffa. So he says that's, the, you know, the, to fade off quietly like you do is, yeah, is a minig yoffa. For Hosef, Shekemadume, Shekei Noga, Chaznish. Okay, very good. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't get that far. Is that probably saying the Belfilis is a when others, he's saying himself. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess there's enough of a pause, so it's not a problem. Yeah. In other words, you, you do your own thing. I think we did it. I think we came across it when we learned that, that he should do it. Yeah, I think so. I think that's from memory. Uh, yeah, and the Sh- Shlomo Zalman says, yeah, he sh- he sh- that's what the Dayan did. Interesting. That the Shats would do it Bakol. Okay, and then you've got the two other Aces of the thing. Why don't the Achrena mention it? Uh, which is much that uh, no one speaks about, no one suggests that. So, uh, so to stick with the two eights of the mission, bro. Okay, we'll leave it at that.